The Technofiber T-Fight ISO 305 has been called the best racket of the year by some of my favorite reviewers. It delivers an uncanny combination of plow through and speed with its aggressive swing weight of 338 and balance point of 33.3 centimeters. At this time, the T-Fight is one of my top candidates for a racket switch. And here's why. This video is sponsored by you, the viewer. Thanks to everyone for the amazing response on the last video. We got over 100,000 views and gained almost 1,000 subscribers. So thank you everyone so much. If you're new, welcome to the channel and thanks so much for watching. If you've been with us for a while, thank you again for your continued support. A special thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation via PayPal, clicked super thanks or purchased one of our string racket or customization consultations available on our website links below your support means the world to simon and i The T-Fight's ability to redirect pace is simply unmatched in the 305 weight class. As long as you maintain decent swing speeds, the T-Fight's stability holds strong with the big boys like the RF97, the Pure Strike Tour, and the V-Core 97D. Against big, flatter hitters like my friend Ali, I usually feel extremely rushed with my usual extreme tour. The T-Fight gave me the confidence to hold my ground on the baseline and take balls a lot earlier than I normally would. This is due in part to the racket's inherent stability, but also its surprising maneuverability. Thank you to Courtside for supplying the T-Fight to this channel. If you're looking to buy a new tennis racket or strings from a local mom and pop shop, Courtside has some amazingly knowledgeable staff that would love to help you out. Use the code 10COM10 to get 10% off in stock regular priced rackets valued over 175 Canadian dollars. The 305 static weight makes it very easy to set up with plenty of time compared to heavier rackets with similar stability. Even if you are caught out a bit late, it's easy to make quick adjustments and whip the racket through the strike zone. Most rackets that have this kind of speed to the air often get caught up against big hitters. While you might be able to catch up to the ball with speed oriented frames like the Extreme Tour or the ESO 98, their lack of swing weight can lead to some serious instability if you get caught on the back foot with a late contact point. The rock solid stability of the T-Fight 305 lets you get away with these kind of balls. So where exactly does this stability come from? Well, we've already talked about the average swing weight of 338, which is huge, and no doubt that is a contributing factor. Another is the solid twist weight of nearly 15. This helps the T-Fight deliver one of the most consistent and generous sweet spots of any 98 square inch racket on the market. The off-center performance feels just as rock solid as a pure central contact point. There is plenty of spin power, control, and ball pocketing available throughout the string bed. That said, in the intro, I did mention that you really need to maintain some decent swing speeds to take full advantage of the T-Fight stability. We're gonna go more in depth on this topic later in the video. Most rackets that have such generous sweet spots tend to feel a little bit muddy throughout the string bed. When the sweet spot is so big, it can be really hard to locate exactly where on the string bed you've contacted the ball. Not so with the T-Fight. The denser 18 by 19 string pattern combined with a firmer response make the T-Fight feel a lot more predictable and precise than rackets like the 18 by 20 Pure Strike or the Speed Pro. At a strung 64 RA, I really think the T-Fight feels a little bit firmer than that number indicates. The firmness contributes to a very consistent and confidence inspiring feel as it doesn't feel like there's any twisting or bending of the frame through 
the impact. Even though the racket does feel quite stiff, I did not experience any comfort. Part of this is because I'm just not that sensitive to wrist or elbow issues, but I think the foam filling really does its job in terms of filtering out those more harmful vibrations. The foam filling also leads to a little bit more of a muted response. I think the T-Fight feels a little bit more connected than the heavily dampened Yonex or Bablat rackets, but it's not quite as responsive as the off we've seen from head lately. Overall, I think the feel is firm, slightly muted, and very consistent. With the lower launch angle of the 18 by 19 pattern, control is absolutely excellent. I felt more than confident enough to flatten out shots, attack balls without any fear of overhitting. So far, this racket is absolutely living up to the hype, but unfortunately, it's just not without its imperfections. First of all, I really, I just hated the grip shape. It's very rectangular and it makes it feel quite large in the hand compared to a normal rounder shape. If you aren't used to rectangular grips, which can be found in prestiges and older head rackets, some vocal rackets also, I recommend you go down a grip size. I really struggled to figure out my forehand, especially on low balls due to this grip shape. I've got a pretty extreme semi-western forehand grip and the rectangular shape felt like it either wanted me to push back and go full western or go a little bit more conservative to an eastern forehand grip. I did end up powering through and I actually got pretty used to the grip shape after about three to four sessions of hitting with the T-Fight. The last issue that I struggled with is my two-handed backhand. From the baseline, I really had to focus on keeping my swing speed high if I wanted to penetrate the court. A big part of this is due to the balance point. I feel a lot more confident on my two-hander when I've got more weight towards the handle in a lighter feeling tip. I just find it a little bit easier to swing freely with this kind of setup, something that's immensely important on every shot, but especially the two-handed backhand where your body's mobility is somewhat limited. I also felt some instability on my two-handed backhand return. This is the shot in my arsenal that's most vulnerable to a lower swing speed. On returns, I like to keep my backhand short and compact. This is exaggerated on the backhand side, and the two-handed nature of the shot makes the swing a little less free. In my experience, the shots with lower racket head speeds suffer the most when the recoil weight's not quite where you want it to be. With a high swing weight and twist weight, keeping this racket extremely stable torsionally and immensely powerful for its weight class, you simply can't beat physics. The recoil weight is one area where this racket just kind of performs like an average 305 gram, 98 square inch racket. The average recoil weight for the T-Fights is coming in at 164. My copy came in a little bit lower at 161. According to some amazing research done by Brando in the linked Talk Tennis thread below, the typical recoil weight range we see in the market is about 158, give or take seven points. While the recoil weight is higher than the market average, it just doesn't quite hold up with the rest of the specs. Thankfully though, this is a very easy fix with some added weight in the handle to dial in the balance. If you want to know how I dialed in that balance and customized the T-Fight for my game, I've posted that video in our membership page. Why am I not like her? A bit so All in all, the T-Fight 305 ISO is a truly fantastic racket and it is well deserving of the praise it's received so far. I think it's a really amazing choice for attacking players at about 4.0 and above. The high swing weight makes it a difficult choice for the players around the 3.5 level, but if you're looking for a racket that forces you to play big attacking tennis, it's really hard to go wrong with the T-Fight 305. If you're coming from something like a Speed Pro, Extreme Tour, or ESO 98, but need a little bit more stability and plow through, the T-Fight is an absolute must demo. Or buy, specifically from Courtside Sports, where you can use my code 10COM10 for 10% off. The T-Fight is a truly excellent racket. However, maintaining long, full, and fast strokes is critical if you want this racket to perform at its best.